guys, it's me again, Jerry Purdue. This is a test video. Uh, never could finish up on the last one. I was talking about electricity uh, and how electricity uh, runs your guitar, your amp, all that. Uh, there's a whole lot of misconceptions out there. You got a 100 watt Marshall amp. You ain't putting out 100 watts. You're not putting out, I don't give a damn. If you bought your Marshall lamp yesterday, it's a DSL, what the hell ever, uh, 100 watt, got the ohms on the back of it, tells you what, what the specs are. You're not getting 100 watts because you have resistance. Resistance. What is resistance? Resistance is nothing more than the word. Resistance. The uh, when, when electricity flows down a cord, it meets resistance. The longer the cord or or the and, not or, and the components in a amplifier, it the electricity meets resistance. And if you got a hundred watt amp and you're you're just running off the say the six foot cord that that is comes with the amp, that six feet, that six feet of cord is resistance. And then it hits the back of the the back of the amp with all of its components it meets more resistance uh that's still roaring and badass but it's meeting resistance and you're not putting out 100 watts and by the time it gets down to your to your speakers which are 30 watts 30 watt yeah four 30 watt amps in the back of the speaker the back speaker cabinet whether it be a slant cabinet or a square cabinet whatever uh you're not getting 100 watts that's why there's that's why there's four 30 watt, and you're not getting three, six, nine, twelve, which would equal 120 watts. No way. You're not that ain't happening. Each speaker, if it is correct ohms, the correct ohms that matches up to the speaker cabinet, then you are getting 30 watts per speaker. You're getting 30 watts per speaker uh, on one cabinet. Add another cabinet to it, the ohms drop down. That's why you have that selector on the back of it. You have four, eight, and 16 ohms. And you better know what you're doing. If you got one 100 watt amp going to one speaker cabinet, you are getting 30 watts to each speaker. If you hook another cabinet up, a stack, you got the square one on the bottom, the slant cabinet on the top, and your 100 watt amp on above it. You're not then. You're not getting 30 watts per speaker. No, not happening. Get on Google, look it up, look up, look up electricity and how it works and whatnot. But because it's meeting resistance, you're not getting. If you got a stack with 100 watt head, 100 watt head on top, and you got eight speakers, that's why you got to flick it over to eight ohms or 16 ohms or whatever. The more you put on it, the more resistance you're getting. Now, it roars and sounds badass, but you're losing wattage and volts. The more you hook up to it, the more you're losing. So just keep it on the, the one, one, four speaker cabinet, and it'll do you justice. Uh, if you play a Coliseum, that one amp will. It, it'll it'll kick ass and the more you hook up to it you gotta have more heads you gotta have more amplifier heads to feed each cabinet feed each cabinet because you it, you're getting resistance the more you hook up to it the more resistance you're getting which which that hundred watts or or going which is 30 watts per speaker with one cabinet the more you hook up to it now you're dropping down from 30 watts down to about probably 20, a little over 20 watts, maybe 18 watts per per speaker. Still, it still vibrates the hair on your arms, but you're losing, you're losing, you're losing pressure. The voltage, you're losing pressure. I spoke about I spoke about voltage earlier, uh, and it, it, it is an atom. And then another one 
kicks him behind it, pushes it forward. Another one kicks him behind it, pushes it forward. Another one kicks him behind it, pushes it forward. That's pressure. Pressure going up that cord, the, the, the electrical cord. If you don't believe me, check this out. Do this experiment on your own. Take a, a circular saw, regular circular saw, seven and a half inch skill saw, whatever, and run it straight off its cord, just its cord, from from the wall, and it will buzz, it will put out, it will it will be ripping. Now stick a hundred foot hundred foot extension cord on it. See if you can hear the difference. 